Hi, Virgos. This is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to your 2024 Psychic Prediction. We are going to ask Spirit what's next for you in the year ahead for love, career, personal growth, um, spiritual growth, anything Spirit wants to share with me. So welcome to my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what Spirit has for you for the year ahead. Spirit, this will be a fully channeled message. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Welcome back to everybody. I'm looking forward to spending another year with you. Let's see what Spirit has. Spirit, please share with me what is going on around my Virgos in the coming year. I am listening for you now. I have health. Okay. Better health. Focusing on your health. I have the sun. It feels like a new beginning. And I have a marriage. Maybe I have a commitment coming. Maybe I have talks of a marriage. Maybe my marriage becomes better. So those things are on the table right out of the gate. So welcome, everybody. Please consider hitting that like button. Um, comment below as I grow my, my channel. That way I can allocate more time in the days ahead, the year ahead, uh, to creating more content for all of you. So take a moment. Hit that like button and let's see what spirit has for the year ahead. So a new beginning, health, marriage. I have the magician. I have the magician. Beautiful. Tapping into your own energy. Is that how it came into me? I have a ten of wands. I have a knight of cups. And I have a four of pentacles. This feeling of no holding back. I, I feel that... You know, yes, days are hard, things are hard, a lot on your plate. Um, just this feeling of, of guarding myself and, and just wanting to push through something. But right now, it could be a combination of you just try awfully hard. Virgos like to have things uh, done right and, and done well. So this feeling of maybe letting down your guard just a little bit, giving yourself a little bit of a break when it comes to all areas of your life. You're amazing. You are, you are inviting this love into your life. You've got somebody who is coming into your energy or is or is in your energy that is very loving and caring but they love it's almost like they love everything about you okay so let them appreciate you let them let them love you let them see all the qualities that you bring to a relationship or to their life and and they bring to your life but i feel like the first message is and don't be so hard on yourself. For those of you that have a tendency to be a perfectionist or um, that you just like things a certain way all the time, don't be so hard on yourself. You know, you're doing a great job. And then tap into this magical energy of the magician of that, you know, something is something is coming to the surface, like all this hard work is coming to the surface, all right, your, your attention to detail, or the, um, the way that you look at things, I, I feel like it's going to pay off for you. So I think that that's your best quality. And I feel like somebody or, you know, could be your career could be your own business, but it's a feeling of people are pointing it out to you that, you know, you are very attentive to, I'm going to say all the little details and the little details are important. The queen of pentacles, it brings you abundance, brings you abundance. And they're saying, let go. I really feel like they want you to let down your guard in an area of your life. If you're struggling with letting somebody into your heart or healing right now, or you just came out of something that was very difficult, um, I really feel like that's something that they want you to work on right now. Just maybe that's the biggest change within you is that you just need to um, trust more or something like that. Trust. And it could be anybody. It could be coworkers. It could be um, trust yourself. It could be um, it, it's a change. It's like not everything is in your control or that you have the capability of making small changes in your day that make things better for you. But right now I feel like the focus, you know, it, it's almost a feeling of like all eyes are on you. Um, and it could be either, you know, something romantic or it could be your work that people are taking notice of your work somehow. Let, let's see what spirit says with love. Let's see what they have for love. 
I have a disguise. Some, some elements of this relationship are hidden. Let down your guard. Let down your guard. If you're if you're having a new relationship or new relationships come into your life, they're definitely asking you to show your best qualities. That magician, show everything. Divine timing. Your love life will soon experience a serendipitous event. Everything's happening exactly how it's supposed to. It's unfolding now, Spirit just said. So something is unfolding for you. Something that you have been waiting for is about to unfold. So we're going we're gonna to hold on to that. Let go of the past. Time to cleanse your energy and allow your love life um, to flourish. It's almost this feeling of, you know, I'm working on not trying to control what happens next. Okay. And you don't have any control. They're saying, you know, look for the signs and the clues. The universe is talking to you. So this could be a real uh, great year for you of just opening up emotionally and opening up um, certainly spiritually, listening to the universe, trusting the universe, um, you know, enjoying, you know, all of the gifts that you have been giving, given and, letting everybody else kind of um, share in those gifts, something along those lines. I also have this tremendous feel, feeling of building upon something, like this is something that you've been working towards. So let's see, I have an eight of cups. I have a nine of pentacles. I have a lovers, a soulmate connection coming towards you. And I have a five of swords. So there's my letting go of the past, walking away from the past, Look at the sense of security right here in the middle. Nine of Pentacles in my, my lover's card. I feel that somebody is coming into your life to make you feel like you are amazing and you are wonderful and I do want to be with you. And you have no fear for that, Spirit's saying. Like you have no reason to not believe them or to not trust the words that they're saying to you. So part of me feels like you'll know within a very short period of time, you're a great judge of character. You're you're a great judge of who should be in your life and who shouldn't be in your life. And then I'm going to build upon this love is how I feel. It could be hard work. It could take us some time. I have a celebration coming into me. But I'm wa I want to see where this goes. If this is new love, we're going to see where it goes. We're going to celebrate over the course of the year that we're together. We're happy. We're working towards something. Existing relationships, I'm going to say, let's just see if this is moving towards um, a long-term relationship. We might be starting to talk about marriage or we may be starting to think about living together or some kind of formal commitment. So for those of you that are are um you know in a long-term relationship i've got a celebration coming i oh, these little pumpkins always jump out at me i always see the three of cups as an engagement <laughs> of some kind i always see it as a commitment offer or uh, some kind of engagement so for some of you it could be the year that somebody really wants to commit also spirit what else do you have for us i have abundance Fruits of your labor, harvest, extra cash coming in. You feel blessed. There's an overflow. You're a magician, and the magician has all of these skills. And this feeling of that you're very attentive or that you are very good at what you do, but you don't have to be perfect, and you don't have to always be 100% making sure that, you know, everybody... Um, thinks you're perfect or anything like that, just do the best that you can and, and kind of be good to yourself is how I feel. And then the abundance is going to flow. It's like just tap into your own energy and the abundance will flow is how it's. I feel. A helping hand, giving and getting support, reaching out. Lending a hand to somebody or somebody could be lending a hand to you. Um, but the sense of I help you, you help me. It's a win-win situation. Could be this relationship coming into you that you allow somebody into your life that that is there to help you and to support you. And that's okay. Again, this feeling of you don't have to do it all alone. I have depths under the surface more to find, not obvious, dive deep. What is your true value and what are you worthy of? Virgos are so worthy of so many things. You know, there's so many things that you that you love to do and 
you love to build and you love to watch things grow and you love to see um, the hard work that you do does pay off but I think that sometimes you're so hard on yourself that you you have to be a little bit um, jumping out I have an ace of pentacles the more I give the more I receive a wheel of fortune gorgeous I trust whatever the universe brings me and the star. I am inspired and positive about the future. I feel like you're putting forth your effort. You know, like what is your best quality? What What is your best talents? What are you really good at? And I feel like you just keep putting it out there and putting it out there. And now it's kind of like, you know, the universe saying, hey, I've got something for you. I'm going to show you that, you know, you're going to be rewarded. So whatever this reward is, I have a judgment. I look back with compassion on myself, being compassionate for yourself. You can't control everything that's going on around you. You can only control what's going on in you and your own thoughts. So maybe that's something that you're trying to work through, work on a little bit harder and, um, and just trying to, um, you know, have this sense of peace of mind always. I mean, Virgos don't like to be angry. <laughs> they like to, um, you know, take responsibility and make other people's lives easier. But who makes your life easy? You know, sometimes you, you can allow somebody in. I have a king of pentacles. I am sure of my place in the world. You have abundance flowing into you. Nine of pentacles. I take the time I need to nurture myself. So you have security coming in. You're financially secure. Spirit is taking care of you. It is a feeling of all this hard work is paying off. So the biggest thing that's coming to you is somebody, it's either someone or, or even people around you with work, their eyes are on you. And, um, and then either your talents are being revealed or what makes you special is, is being highlighted this year. Maybe you can feel it like it's your time to shine. You know, it could be as simple as that. Let's see what they're saying. Keep manifesting. You have the power to manifest what you want by writing your intentions down and by taking inspired action to make it happen. Manifest what you want. I feel like you're climbing, you know, this pyramid, a ladder, um, achieving something this year. Money. Money matters a lot right now. Watch your expenses. Save. You need to prepare, be prepared. Maybe this is the year that you dig yourself out of debt because I do feel like I'm more secure. I have more abundance. I'm more in control with this king. It could be I, I got some debt off my shoulders or I refinance something or I'm just making more money and I can save some more money, something like that. So maybe we have some changes in our finances. I have some movement. You'll make good progress now. You'll be able to overcome any obstacle in your path. There's big leaps forward. I do feel that. I, I feel that you know in your heart what you're capable of. And it's it's a feeling of I know what I'm, I'm capable of. I'm going to push myself. I'm going to achieve something this year that I've been wanting to achieve. Like something is, is pushing you. You're moving up. You are increasing your power and your status. You may get a promotion or move to a better home. Um, an office, you may invest in a home, you know, they're, they're, you're, you've got something good happening in the materialistic world, I will say that. So you're moving up, you know, I also like the, the way that the Eiffel Tower is kind of lit up, you know, like, what's lighting you up? What is this forward movement? What is this progress that, that you're making? You know, it's almost like that horse is ready to take a leap, right? A leap of faith of some kind. So is there something going on in your life that you are ready to make that forward movement, you know, that forward leap? And they're saying, bottom of the deck, I've got success. The path you are on will bring you success and prosperity if you just keep going. Lots of little steps take you a long way. You're on track. So whatever this, this whatever's propelling you, okay, you can see it, it's like I'm, I'm just 
I'm going to leap forward somehow. Whatever this forward movement, something inside of you that says, um, I'm really good at what I do and I'm going to push myself and I'm going to get the success and the reward from it. So like I said, the easiest way to say it is all this hard work pays off or all your effort or all your talent pays off. Something along those lines is, is definitely um, showing its true colors this year, but in a really positive way, in a financial abundance way. So we've got financial abundance flowing into you. We possibly have a commitment flowing into you or somebody moving in the direction of a commitment also. So that's beautiful. And then health was on the table. I have moving on here with the six of swords, nine of swords. I have an ace of cups and I have a sun. Now this is coming into me when I had said health. It was a feeling of, um, I don't know, sometimes we get, you know, um, I'm going to use the word either deflated or burnt out would probably be a better word for it. Okay. I'm burnt out in an area of my life. I'm burnt out emotionally. I don't know how to express myself anymore. I'm, I'm, I've been struggling with that. So maybe spirit saying, well, I have something for you that's going to lift you up. And I do feel like it's in, in connection to your spiritual and your emotional health. Okay. Whether it's, I spend more time loving myself. I'm trying something new. I am breaking out of a pattern of behavior. I'm exercising more. I'm eating better. I lost weight. Um, I feel better about myself this year. So I'm going to go with this energy because this energy is all about you feeling alive, quite frankly. You feeling alive and you letting something go. You saying that this is no longer serving me. This is no longer serving me. And I'm going to move on from something. So, you know, if there's something that you just feel like is, um, isn't healthy for you anymore, or it hasn't been working for you for a long time, um, you know, make some changes in your life. And and then open yourself up to that that love. I love myself more and I feel alive and healthy and happy and um, I have more energy. Whatever it is, it's going to bring you more energy. So maybe, it, maybe it's your diet. Maybe it's losing some weight. Maybe it's exercising more. But it's bringing you more energy. So that I would say I would figure that out because you're going to feel... Um, I don't know, energy to do more, whatever, ener whatever you need energy for, you know, it's like, I just feel more energetic. I'm going to say it that way. Uh, passionate, follow your heart to find your true life path. What is it that you want? What is it that you want to do? You know, taking care of yourself first. Absolutely. It's a long journey. It takes a while to get there. So be patient, slow, steady and endurance. I feel like you put a lot of pressure on yourself. I, I feel like this is the year that maybe we cut back on that pressure. We cut back on being so hard on ourselves or perfectionism of some kind. And I, I feel like it's a year that we focus on loving ourselves more, allowing love to come into our life and really letting ourselves shine with those achievements that whatever it is that you do, you're very good at. So, just keep doing it. Good luck is on your side. Be open to receive a windfall and accept help. Help. You don't have to do it all. You don't have to do it all alone. So you've got this new energy coming in. You've got luck on your side. I, I'm going to put that out there. You know, we've got this good luck. We've got this good luck in this new beginning. Like, you know, just luck is on your side, you know, I mean, that just feels good to me. So I think the answer is, I'm going to take care of myself first, I'm going to focus on my own emotions, I'm going to focus on um, doing the best I can in all areas of my life. And then I'm going to allow these other things to come into my life all on their own, because spirit had said they were all unfolding on their own naturally. So you know, organic, organically falling in love, you know, um, 
things coming into your life when you least expect it, you know, your luck changing, good things happening to you. You know, those things are already in the universe for you, uh, Virgo. So I'm going to I'm going to put this out into the universe now and I'm going to ask Spirit to, to bring you a beautiful year. I want to thank uh, Spirit for these messages. I want to thank you all for for joining me. Please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Um, thank you for your comments. I want you to have an amazing year. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, I will put my website below, kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.